trying to figure out the pun. He's not the jack. Oh, God. <laughs> Be lively, you feeling it? Yeah. What's your fake name? Nighthawk. Nighthawk! <laughs> I don't know whether to be I was just like, so I'm like, what's your fake name? They're like, Nighthawk. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's yours? Alex. Alex, okay, yeah, so we're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, welcome to Statistics Lesson. This is a very important one, the first one we do. Before we begin, as I catch my breath, <laughs> um, I'm gonna ask you, and you're gonna scream back. Yay math! Yay math! Yay math! <laughs> Time release! I'm a sister. Let's begin talking about some major uh, measures of center. That's what statistics starts with. It's about sort of seeing the center values and the averages of things. So here we have, according to OK Magazine, salaries of top 10 earners in show business. There they are. Any of these strike you as uh, interesting? No. Not really. Bacon's not on there. Good for them. Okay. So you've heard of the things like mean or taking the average of something. So why don't we start with that because it's something that we already know. And we'll start with the mean. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that by hand first time and uh, add it up. So don't we have what, 38 plus 36? plus 35, all the way, you can do it on your calculator, to 8.4, divided by uh, 10. And what do we get the mean? 20.4. What is it? 20.4. 20.4. Speedy comes up. Speedy, yeah. So 20.4. Now, we pause for a minute. And we say, let's go again. Is 20.4 a fair measure of the middle in this case. So we see a few nodding yes, a few other people not nodding, people nodding no. What do we got? We got some no's. Okay, can you uh, offer us a reason why not, maybe? Because it seems closer to uh, the higher note. This? It seems closer to the lower number. What seems closer to the lower numbers? Sorry, 20.4 yeah. seems like it's closer to like 8.4 rather than 30. I don't know if it would be in the middle. I think it's in the middle. Okay. I mean, um, it is closer it's to seem, it, is, it is around the neighborhood of middle. But it's there's not the exact a middle. difference of like around 18 between 20.4 and 38, and then there's a difference of 12 oh, you're between right. 8.4 and 20.4. There's a difference of 12 from this and 8, and then a difference of what to uh, 30? 18. But there 18. are more smaller numbers, so it isn't now. Now we're getting, now we're getting there. Can you That's offer what I was going to say. Yeah. So the question is, while this is in the neighborhood of middle, it is a fair neighborhood of middle, we say, does it represent most of the people? Yeah. I would go a few. No. I would say like, almost <laughs> no. Is this too high or too low? Too low. I think. 
Do most people make lower or most people make higher? Most people make lower. Most people make lower. If you look closely at the data, and this is a very, very good exercise, powerful exercise. You look at this, this is the stuff that's 10 or less. Then you have creeping up above 10 a little more, and then at 15. So basically, 8 to 15 is less than a 10 differential. See that? Then we have these big jumps, 12, then another huge jump, and these are really high. So you have this group that's sort of hanging out down here in the low digits or low teens, and then you have this big jump here. So maybe 20.4 doesn't necessarily represent most of the people. And that's the issue with mean. That's the issue with mean. It's actually swayed by extreme cases. It's swayed by extreme cases. And that's a really, really important thing to keep in mind. Okay, now we have this thing called the median. Does anyone know what the median is? The middle. Yes, the middlemost number. So, do you know how to calculate it? You. It's a cross off. Cross off game. Yeah. Um, and uh, notice that we have, I've put them already in order for us. So we can go ahead and start crossing these off. So you cross, cross, two, two, yeah, you have it. You yeah, put two in the middle. So two in the middle. So it's 14. So you take the mean of the middle two, and if you have an even number, yeah. So the median is now 14. And would that be a more accurate depiction of around where most of the people are making? Yes. Yeah. I would agree. And that's the idea with median. Many times, you can look at the data together. Now let's look at it together. That's even more powerful. If you had a, uh, a list of numbers and you had the mean at 20 and the median at 14, what would that tell you about the data? Yes? That the data had really low data. I mean, not data, but the data had low numbers that made up of the data. Does that make sense? There are going to be low numbers that drag this down. But what makes the 20 go up? The big number. The big numbers yes. skew the data. So it has, it's skewed big. It's mm -hmm. skewed big. Mm -hmm. These numbers here, we'll just take off the, mm -hmm. it's really cool, the technology. Here we go, whoop, nice. The large numbers actually skew the mean up. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. But is the median affected by large numbers? Yeah. No. You can find the median in anything of the same. Yeah. I want to give you a true story. In ninth grade when I was taking biology, my teacher, did a median grade system. And the students loved it. They loved it. All it is, is that you get all your letter grades on tests, quizzes, homework, projects, everything, and you line them up in order. So a homework was worth one letter grade, a test was worth three letter grades, a project was worth four letter grades, a quiz was worth two letter grades. So if you got an A on a test, that was like A, A, A. If you got an A on a homework, that was A. And if you line up all like maybe 30 or 40 grades at the end of the term, Let's do a short case like this. Let's say these were your grades right here. And then you'd get the median. So if you get an F on something, you don't have to panic that it's going to drag your entire grade down because you know, like, I just need to work hard to get more A's or more higher grades to cancel these once we do the median. Yes? You do that. I, I think it was like trying to do it. It's difficult with the math class. I think if you're in a, like a history or an English class, it would lend itself to that because there's all this partial credit thing going um, with math that I, you know, I wanted to get into. But I really considered it. But don't you agree that median may account for the dips better? Median is more forgiving to dips? Not if you're looking at a year like uh, span because when you start the year, most students are like, yes, like, I'm going to do really well this year. So they try really hard and then they have a dip and mm -hmm. then in the end they're like, Oh God, like I have to get my act together and they start <laughs> <laughs> trying. And so you just see this like... like Let's see <laughs> which one has more of a dip. These? One, two, three, four. And a uh, failing grade would be 50. like 50. Cool. So median system, what would your final grade in the class a, be here? A. a, right. So two off, two off, A. Can someone uh, adventurous give us this a percentage? Averaging 95, 95, 95, 95, 50 divided by 5. 86. 86. Oof. So which was more of a killer? The average. Yes, which is the mean. 
So in this system, would we assume that the final is worth more slots? Yes. Yes, everything's weighted differently, correct. So you'd have like a final would be five letter grades. Right. And a homework would be one letter grade, for example. Yeah. Students really loved it because it was forgiving of this. You had a rough day, a rough week or something. This really just killed the grade permanently. Now this, not necessarily, because if you had the side with all these A's, then the F would be canceled. It's a very interesting system that's very forgiving. The dialogue's open. I'll have a dialogue with you about it. We might, might want to try it. Why not? Why not? I, I like did it in middle school. school. You did it in middle school, yeah. median system? I, I didn't know that I did it until right now. Oh, really? <laughs> explain that, but that's how we did it. That's so funny. That's so funny. Well, now you know, right? So there's your mean, your median, and now let's do mode. Does anyone know what mode means? The most occurring. Most occurring number. So what is the most occurring number in this case? None. There isn't. None. Correct. So we say none. Mid-range. Mid-range. Mid-range is basically the number that's the average of the highest and lowest. It's another degree of middle that we can sort of figure out. So mid-range, all we do is we average the highest and lowest. 38 plus 8.4 over 2 gives us 23.2. So mid-range is arguably the least effective measure of center. So there's those.